We always like to bring you good news on today. This morning, we're doing that by revealing the secrets of successful women. Today, contributing correspondent Jenna Bush Hager is here to introduce us to two millennials making a big difference. Jenna, good morning. Good morning, good morning guys. I know these girls are amazing. They started She's the First, a nonprofit, when they were just 21 and 24, and they set out to change the world by educating one girl at a time. We are the first. We are the first. We are the I'm Tammy. And I'm Kristen. And we started She's the First. Tammy Tibbetts and Kristen Brandt have always been passionate about girls' education, which led them to start She's the First, a nonprofit that engages students here in the U.S. to help sponsor girls' education around the world. For a lot of families, if it comes down to choosing one or two of their children who go to school, they're going to choose the boy. And for Tammy and Kristen, this mission is personal. I'm the first in my family to graduate from college. I'm the first in my family to graduate from college. Even though my parents didn't go to college, it was an opportunity they wanted my sister and I to have. And I remember growing up, my dad, he worked overtime shifts and they saved up the money. They said I could do whatever I wanted to, whatever career path would make me happy. They couldn't introduce me to, to anyone. They couldn't tell me how to get there, but they could drive me to the train station so I could get to New York City. And and it was in New York City that Tammy launched She's the First, meeting Kristen through social media. You know, I love that you've started this non-for-profit, this business based on millennials, and you met on Facebook. It is fitting, isn't it? <laughs> is that? Yeah, and we launched as a YouTube video. She could be the first female president of her country. That 2009 YouTube video turned them into superstars in the non-profit world. They have won the UN Award for Creating Global Change and are on Time Magazine's 30 Under 30 and Fast Companies, the thousand most creative people in business. Today we have 500 scholars all around the world in 10 different countries and they're going on to do amazing things. Some of them now have even graduated college, which is a step further than, than we even aim to do. Bringing girls across the world together, Today, there are 125 high school and college She's the First Clubs that single-handedly raise money for scholars one cupcake at a time. The tie-dyed cupcakes are our signature fundraiser that students do because, I mean, who can't bake cupcakes? It's such an easy entryway into our mission. We've raised over $2 million to date. Changing the world is no easy feat, but the women shared with us a few keys to their success. Text, talk, or email? Talk email. Life motto. It always seems impossible until it's done. Learning never stops. Are you happy? Yes. Are you happy? Absolutely. Do you consider yourself successful? Yes. I consider myself successful because I've founded She's the First and in turn we've had so many girls get an education and become successful in their own lives so that it's become this huge ripple effect of, of exponential success. With an optimistic future, Tammy and Kristen are confident their mission will continue to grow. Our goal is that by 2020, we will have sponsored 10,000 years of education. Inspired by their own hard work and girls halfway around the world who are breaking boundaries and proving girl power is very real. Even though you know you're the first of your family, these are some these girls. Some of them are the first of their communities. Yeah. Um, do you see yourself in them in any way? I see a lot of my fire in them. Almost by default, if you're going to be the first person in your family or your community to go to school to achieve all of these really audacious goals that these girls have, you have to have that fire. Mm -hmm. I think so many of our students they really have that fire. And I have no doubt that Tammy and Kristen will achieve all of their goals. One thing that they stress, which we all know, by educating these girls, they're changing their entire communities. They're pretty impressive, right? They're changing communities for generations mm -hmm. as well. Starting exactly, because we thing. know that if mothers have babies, if they've gone to college, their girls will go to, go to school as well.